The Scott Foil is the more aerodynamic of the two models that the IM Cycling Team riders can choose from. This is David Tanner's bike. As with the rest of the team, he's got Dura Ace DI2 throughout, although interestingly, he chooses to go without an SRM power meter on this bike. Some riders like them, some riders don't, I guess, although they've still got the mount here for the head unit, so still get some data there. Handlebars, stem and seat post are provided by Ritchie, and Tanner goes for the Neo Classic, so nearly the traditional bend handlebars. Wheels are provided by team sponsor DT Swiss, and they're the spline model, they're slightly deeper than some of the rims that we've seen on the other riders' bikes. Tubulars are provided by Schwalbe, and they're the Schwalbe One tubs. And the saddle is provided by Prologo. Like the rest of his teammates, Tanner is using Shimano's Dura Ace pedals, so if any of them have issues, they can hop onto a Domestique or a teammate's bike. The chainrings are 39.53, pretty standard there. And the cassette, again, is what we're increasingly seeing as standard. That's the 11.28. Let's get the tape measure and the scales out and take a look at some of the numbers on Tanner's bike. Tanner's saddle height is quite high. It's about 79 centimeters. The reach is around 60 centimeters, achieved using a 12 centimeter stem. And the bars are pretty narrow for a rider who chooses a frame that size. They're 40 centimeters, so very aero. Crank length is 175. Let's take a look at the bike's weight. So Tanner's bike, despite having aero wheels and being an aero frame, comes in at 6.9 kilos, which means it's running super close to the UCI's lower weight limit, which I think is really cool. If you'd like to see more pro bikes, click right there. To see some GCN top 10 videos, click down there. And finally, to subscribe to GCN, to see more pro bikes, click on me. An SRM, ah, easy jet. <laughs>